<laughs> All right, here we are guys. I've traveled almost 1500 miles for this moment right here to be right here. It is beautiful. Hey guys, Paleo Chris, I'm out today with Bree all the way in the upper peninsula of Michigan. So I've traveled all the way up here from Florida, 1500 miles or so. Bree is actually from Michigan here and uh, has done this quite a few times. So she's gonna be my guide today, mm -hmm. helping me to ID all this stuff and also showing me what I'm doing because I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing out here. But I can tell you right now, I see the rocks. They all look very, very, very cool. I'm up here specifically to look for euprolites, which are a fluorescent form of sodalite. These things look insane under UV lights. Beautiful, mind blowing. I've been wanting to do this for several years and uh, yeah, it's finally time. So I am dying right now. The sun is about to go down and then it's gonna be time to start walking this beach with UV lights and finding cool stuff. But first we're gonna look around and see if we can find some agates or whatever else we can find. I guess there's a bunch of cool stuff here that I don't know anything about. So yeah, yeah let's go. <laughs> I think we're actually gonna walk up on this cliff right now. There may be some waterfalls up there, or some other cool things to see, so let's go take a look. Look at the amazing mushrooms right there. So cool. And look over here. There's yellow ones there, over there, down there. Take a look at where Bree just found little tiny wild blueberries. I'm gonna eat a couple. <laughs> All right, we're on top of the cliff now. Let's take a look at that area. Look at that, there's some islands way off in the distance. Take a look at this beautiful waterfall right here. Little shallow pool where it's hitting right down there. That's beautiful. I love all the like moss and stuff growing right up there with the water. I like the hollow area under there too. Let's go check that out. It is just so loud right here. That's so cool. <laughs> All right, so we're walking back down to the beach. Beautiful, beautiful view from these cliffs up here, but we're ready to find some stuff, so we're gonna get down there and start looking through some rocks. Such a beautiful area here, beautiful creek. And still people throw trash. Guys, please pick up all your trash. Look at this place. That would just wash into the creek and then out there and then who knows where. Oh, I see rocks. I see cool rocks everywhere. Oh my goodness. Oh, what is that? Look at this one here glowing that Bree just picked up. Some type of like chalcedony or uh, agate. I can't see, really see any lines in it though, but really interesting. Pretty with the sun hitting it. Check this one out, guys. Really interesting. There's a couple little pockets with druzy quartz crystals in it. That's an interesting little piece there that Bree just found. I'm gonna join her over there and see what I can find. I don't have a clue what that is, but I'm gonna keep it because I can't find stuff like that down in Florida. The view here is just absolutely incredible, guys. Absolutely nothing as far as you can see that way. And just a few other people on the beach down that way, but still pretty much nothing. Once again, not a clue, but I like it. <laughs> I am by no means an expert at this sort of thing, so I'm definitely gonna make some mistakes on identifying this. This is my very first time doing this, but if you notice that I've misidentified something, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. That's how I learn. I'd appreciate it very much. Let's keep on walking this way and see what else we can find before that sun goes down. Bree just found this awesome bigger piece of jasper here. She was saying the little specks are like an iron stone or something like that. That is sweet looking. It's amazing that the lake just polishes everything here. It's like a, the world's largest rock tumbler. Pretty much everything is so cool looking. There we go. 
Check out the lines on that little agate right there that Bree just found. Beautiful, beautiful piece. That's the biggest agate we found here today so far. I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. If you are, hit that thumbs up button for me. I think we're gonna walk over here a little bit more, wait on this sun to set, and then we're gonna get out those UV lights and start looking for these Uper lights. Let's get going. Yep, it's officially down right now. And this beach is looking absolutely amazing. I have my UV light right here and I'm about to start shining it. You can't see the beam right now, but that doesn't mean that we won't be able to see stuff fluorescing. So let's just start walking and see what happens. All right, so Bree already has the UV light out, but we can't even see where the beam is hitting. And literally, guys, five minutes in, less than five minutes in, where is it? Right there, guys. Can you see that? All right, Bree, go for it. Whoa, that's cool looking. Oh my goodness. Uh, and then what does it look like without the uh, light on? A rock. That's a rock, and then it's a magic rock. Just that easy. <laughs> It's hard to see, but I have something reacting to the UV a little bit right there. It's a little tiny piece of fossilized coral. I found a fossil, guys. Yes. All right, now I just need a Uper light. All right, Bree says she has another one. Where at? Oh, that's vibrant right there. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's got the snowflake pattern. Amazing. <laughs> uh, I need one. I guess. I need it. <laughs> All right, guys, I finally found my first one. Look at that right there. It's a little one, but that's exactly what that is. Got fuzz. I got fuzz. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. So, Ooh, red for me. And it, oh, Bree has one. Let's see. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> my goodness, you took away my glory. I did. Uh, I, want, I want one like that. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm gonna try. I found it on the so. way over to see. <laughs> <laughs> well, mm, that's fine. I still like mine. He's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Bree has another one right there. Ooh, ooh, so nice. Got it. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's a magical rock. Look at that. All right, I need more. Yeah. Much, much more. Yeah. Also guys, up there somewhere is the comet Neowise. So if the conditions are right, and they do look like they're gonna be right, I'm actually gonna try to get a nice photo of the comet right here on Lake Superior. So yeah, let's do that in a little bit when it gets dark enough. Guys, look at this Uper light. It's tiny. I can't even, ah, uh, can't even get it. Look at that. It's small, <laughs> but it, it's powerful. Amazing. All right, guys, another one. I mean, these things are just every, oh, I like that one a lot. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> Dang, that's a nice one. Uh, yeah, it is a nice one. Woo! Oh, <laughs> uh, that's so cool. Sweet. Bree got another one. Look at it. It's a glowing. Amazing. Amazing. What do you got here? Oh, oh. Uh, uh, that's amazing little sliver of a moon up there. It's about to be pitch dark, and that's when these things are gonna work the absolute best. Let's see. That's one of the most vibrant ones I've seen yet. Whoa. Oh, wow. Got one right there. Look at that. It's a little bit of a better size one than most that I've been finding. Sweet. Bree just found a crazy one right here. Take a look at that. What on earth? It's like there's a, a ton, a ton of soda light all in this. It's mostly, I think, soda light. So, rain. yeah, yeah, lots of 
small little grain, so it looks all orange. Hmm? <laughs> and another one right next to that one. Yeah, kind of similar, uh, kind of similar looking. I like the really <laughs> vibrant dots. Check it out right there. That's three right in this very same spot right here. Sweet. Take a look at that one right there. Yep, that's one of the better ones that I've found so far tonight. It's not even fully dark yet. Uh. And there's number five in this same spot. Guys, it's getting crazy. <laughs> it's getting crazy. Yeah. All right, let's just do this live for a minute. I'll walk with you guys. Oh, she just found another one. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's incredible. All right. All right, let's, let's just walk for a minute, guys. Keep this thing rolling. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Little. <laughs> Little ones, but holy cow. All right. <laughs> oh, there's one right there. Uh -huh, Bree's got one over there. All right, look at this one right here. Ugh. Uh, nice. Very cool. Look at that beautiful, beautiful thing. So blue. Check it out right there. There's a feather glowing. That's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is how the night's going so far. That is a cool find right there. Look, that's a nice, that's a nice super light, fluorescent soda light. And Bree's come, Bree is coming <laughs> over here to see what I found. And she finds that. Look at that. Oh, that's the biggest one so far of the <laughs> night. Oh my goodness. Look at this snowflake. That pattern, pattern is amazing. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Whoa. Check that one out right there. Oh. Look at that. Look at it glowing. Awesome, I like that one a lot. Little thin one, cool, cool little pattern on it. Beautiful one that Bree just found right here. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, <laughs> oh. I, I don't know if the videos show just how vibrant that stuff is, but it looks mind blowing in person, guys. <laughs> what in the world? That's my biggest one so far. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That's what I came here for. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. Let's keep walking. Giant toad. <laughs> he is cool. Let's see. Let's see if he accepts you, Bree. He does. He, does. he, does. he approves. Thank you, sir. <laughs> so thank you, sir. <laughs> All right. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Oh. He's done. He's like, the heck with this, man. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Sick of you people touching me, you talking to me. Touch me man. <laughs> Check out the moon right here on the water. I know that footage is kind of grainy, but look at that beautiful reflection there. All right, guys, I think it is plenty dark enough right now to try to get a photo of the comet. Neowise just out there right now over the water. I'm gonna use this camera right here. Unfortunately, I did not bring my main tripod, so I have this little bendy thing. I hope we can still get a good photo, but I'm gonna set this up now and take my first shot, and we're gonna see what that looks like. All right, we just finished the first few photos and I'm about to review them right now. It shows me a little preview whenever it gets through taking a photo and there's something kind of mind blowing on here that I want to show you guys. Check this out. It's hard to see, but that's the preview of the very first photo. I'm going to blow that up on the screen right now. Check it out. So you can see right there on the left of the screen, there's the comet. And in that bright haze is the Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights. You can just barely make that out with the naked eye, but with a camera, you can see it extremely vibrant. This is my first time ever seeing anything like this. All right, guys, so I'm pretty happy with the photos that I got of the comet. Just mind-blowing, once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to be able to come here and do this. But I can see over this way is the Milky Way, and it looks pretty mind-blowing to the naked eye as well. So I'm going to set this camera back up somewhere else and try to get a photo of that as well. All right, here's the shot of the Milky Way. Let's blow this up and take a look at it. 
All right, guys, I think that's enough of the photos for now. We're going to continue walking down this beach right here with those UV lights. Hopefully, we're going to find more Uber lights and maybe even some big old giant ones. Let's go. Bree saw one way out there. Oh, that's a nice one. Really, really super nice one in the water. It's cold. Is it cold? It's cold? I touched it with my hand, guys. It is very cold. Chicken, skin. chicken skins. <laughs> well, Bree saw yet. Oh my goodness. Yet another one out there in the water. Ooh. That's amazing. How do your feet feel? Not that bad? Mm, I might have to do it too. <laughs> Alright guys, Bree's finding too much out there in the water, so I'm putting on these little uh, dive booties here and taking those shoes off. And my feet are about to be freezing. <laughs> Check it out right there, guys. Can you see it glowing in the water? Oh, that is cold. That's real cold. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm in shock, or I'm freezing to death, I can't tell. That is an amazing Uper light, fluorescent soda light. Sweet. And we got another one. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> oh yeah, not super vibrant, but still really nice. Brie actually spotted that one, so there you go. Well, my dive boots are doing a good job at keeping me warm, so I'm just walking through this stuff. Look at all the rocks. I mean, as far out there as you can see. Beautiful, beautiful rocks. So I'm just gonna walk around and keep shining the UV light. Breeze up that way, shining the UV light. And we're gonna keep finding, hopefully, nice big giant Uper lights here. Can you guys see it down there glowing ever so slightly? Oh, that water's so cold. Miss. What? 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 <laughs> it's <so> nice, <laughs> I can't. I'm just gonna grab a bunch of stuff. There it there is. There you go. There we go. It's a little one. <laughs> really bright though. Uh huh. Nice. <laughs> Got another one here. Ooh, that's a bigger one than I thought. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. That's you. Oop. Check it out, looks like we have two good ones right here. Bria is gonna do the extractions mm -hmm. on that one. And then, oh, oh, those are both amazing. <laughs> so and beautiful. That side. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, Lord. that one's mine. <laughs> mm. <laughs> we have a really nice one right here in the frame. Can you guys tell which one it is yet? Let's see. Let's check it out with a little bit of UV. Look at it right there. Isn't that mind blowing? Let's grab it. Ugh. Let's check it out under just UV light for a second. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Mm -hmm. I think you just saw one over here, didn't you, Bree? Yeah. Let's see. Oh man, that one looks really nice. <laughs> oh. That's, that's one of my favorite ones tonight so far. I don't know, there's something about it. It's special. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's like, <laughs> it looks like a little egg. It does. It's a little egg. It's gonna I hatch into a, it. it's gonna, oh, you laid it? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, I know this is super bright, but check this out. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, isn't that cool? Let's do it again. All right, one, two, three. That's called phosphorescence. It can actually hold the light and then re-emit it at a different wavelength. That's sweet. And here we go. Ooh. Uh, this never gets old, guys. I don't know. Every one of them's a little bit different. A little bit of different patterns. Gosh, it's beautiful out here tonight. <laughs> Check out the spider, guys. Glowing under UV light. So cool. And what do you have over here already, Bree? Uh, where'd, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Right here. There it is. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at that. This baby. Uh, that's amazing. <laughs> Check this out, guys. These flowers under UV are totally different color than with regular light. 
that's really trippy, but very, very <laughs> cool. All right, guys, finally made it back. Vehicle's parked up there. When we get back, we're gonna lay out all the finds to show you guys, especially under the UV light, so stay tuned. All right, guys, here are all the finds we got tonight laid out. We have Breeze Uber lights here and her other cool stuff here. We have my Uber lights here and my other cool stuff here. We'll zoom in and take a look. They don't look all that special under regular light. There's definitely some variation to the rock. There's a few that look a little different. Over here, there's some agates and some other cool stuff. These look pretty cool under UV, but different than the Uper lights. As far as mine, pretty much just look like a bunch of rocks. Let's check this out under a UV light. All right, that is more like it there. Check out all those beautiful glowing Uper lights. Look at that one. That one is super vibrant. One of my favorite ones that Brie found, I think. Bunch of other really cool ones. As I said, this stuff up here glows. Look at this coral that Brie found here. This will actually phosphoresce if we hold the light right up to it. And then we turn it off, boom, you can see it glow a little bit. That is awesome there. Bunch of other stuff, this stuff does glow a little bit. I think you can see it's like a little bit of like a purple there and also something very weird on my hand. <laughs> uh, over here is my finds, bunch of other weird stuff. I think, uh, yeah, that's a piece of coral. Let's do that phosphorescence trick one more time. Check it out. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. All right. And then my Uper lights, check them out. So I think as far as my Uper lights, this is definitely my biggest one right here. I like that one a lot, but I think my favorite, that's one of my favorites there. Look at that. And probably that one. Brie is an incredible artist. I'm gonna have her information linked down in the description below, so go follow her if you guys are interested in checking her out. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>